welcome to my channel. Today's recipe, you know, I think everybody ought to know how to make popcorn from scratch, right? Don't go to the store and buy those packages. They're full of chemicals and all kinds of stuff you don't really want to be eating. So I'm going to show you today how to use some non-GMO popcorn, some, you know, really good butter, salt, and that's pretty much all you need, a little bit of oil, uh, and that's non-GMO as well. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm going to show you how to do it right after this. All right, guys, so we're gonna get right into our recipe. Here's what I'm using. I'm using Arrowhead Mills Organic Popcorn. This is non-GMO and I got it at Whole Foods Market. So we're gonna use that. I also have over here my canola oil, which is non-GMO. It's actually processed and made in Canada. And so, yeah, it's non-GMO. So I'm gonna be using about a quarter, a nice full quarter cup of the popcorn kernels. Now, what we wanna do is place our oil. I'm gonna turn my flame on my pan. By the way, the pan I have here is a six quart stainless steel pan. I like to have a lot of room so that I can shake my popcorn and you need to have a nice tight fitting lid. A lot of people have a glass lid, which is nice because then you can see what's going on, but I don't, so we'll use our ears instead. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our oil and I'm gonna pour in about two tablespoons, maybe just a smidgen over. I want it to cover the bottom of the pan, but you don't wanna have too much oil in here to make it too greasy. I've got my temperature on medium low heat. I'm gonna take you know, three kernels, pop them into the pan and cover it because we don't want it popping all over the place. Okay, and we're gonna wait for that to pop. Now shake it a little bit. It's gonna take about, I don't know, a minute or so before that actually pops. In the meantime, I've got my butter over here and I am going to cut off about, oh, I like lots of butter, but about two tablespoons. I'm gonna place it in my uh, Pyrex measuring cup here, pop it in the microwave until it melts. So back to our popcorn kernels, the four in the pot here, we just wanna shake it until they pop. And then once they're popped, we're gonna pour in the rest of our popcorn, put the lid on it, and we'll start shaking the pot again. Once you get to a point where there's you know, one to two seconds between any popping sounds, then you know it's almost pretty much done. So go ahead and stop and turn off the heat and leave the lid on for about a minute so that any extra popping that occurs isn't gonna jump out of the pan. Now you can drizzle that nice warm butter right over the top, just a nice layer, add a little bit of salt to that, and then I like to put the lid on it and shake that up. Then I'm gonna repeat that process, adding a little more butter and a little more salt, and we'll shake it again, and I'll do that probably a total of three times. That's it, and the popcorn's ready. That's it, everybody. Uh, simple and easy, and tastes so good. So wonderful, nice and warm. As much salt as you like. I like it a little bit salty with my little butter. Delicious, mm. nice and light. Great popcorn, guys. I'm gonna go watch a movie. I hope you try this and go watch a movie, too. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you um, like the video and you wanna see more, subscribe to my channel. Click the button. There's one up here on the screen. It'll be coming at the end and there's always the one on the bottom. Uh, leave me a comment, let me know if you have any recipe requests, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.